I'm Gaming Fit Nation's Black Bob. I'm here with Arnie Meyer to talk about The Last of Us. Now, I'm so hyped because I know you're hype and he's hype, so we gotta get it right. <laughs> Wait, I really didn't mean to rhyme that. That was just really by mistake. <laughs> anyway, seriously, I mean, what is it? What is it there about this game that you don't want to know? This game is amazing, and Arnie Maya is about to tell us all about it. So please tell us about The Last of Us. Sure. I mean, The Last of Us. It's uh, it's the story of Joel and Ellie. Um, as they're trying to survive in a world that's 20 years after a fungal pandemic has sort of decimated uh, government and civilization as we know it. Um, so 20 years later, like nature's starting to reclaim the world and, you know, buildings are overgrown, everything's sort of falling apart. Um, and they're going to run into survivors that, uh, you know, maybe, you know, they might feel that it's uh, every man for themselves and they're sort of the very brutal uh, world and sort of the way that they react to it. They might run into survivors that are willing to cooperate, sort of try to rebuild society and they're a little bit more friendly and they'll help you out. Uh, and of course, you know, this is all set across the backdrop of the other infected humans. Um, you know, they're, they're pretty lethal uh, antagonists as well and, you know, they look pretty gnarly. Okay. Now, another part of this, you know, like I was uh, talking to you about, was when I first saw the first initial trailer, instantly I thought 28 weeks later. So, I mean, you know, you kind of like cleared that up a little bit for me, but just in case there are other people who might think that this is more so strictly a horror, maybe you could clear that up and, uh, you know, give us what, you know, this really is to everybody. Sure. I mean, we had a lot of influences when we were uh, when Bruce and Neil were trying to come up with uh, with The Last of Us, to try to figure out what to do. Um, Twenty Days Later was definitely one of those. I think Children of Men factored really heavily. No Country for Old Men did. There's a bunch of books. You know, obviously like the Walking Dead comic series did. There's some books. There's a nonfiction book about what the world is like uh, once humans have disappeared. Sort of how quickly everything falls apart. Sort of nature starts to reclaim the land. Um, so all of those things sort of uh, we took all of those as sort of inspiration here. So the idea that we're trying to do here it's really about tension so when you're playing the game um, it's about trying to survive in in the world and, and sort of create that tension that um, you know it, the world is really difficult to survive in and that uh, humanity has been pushed to its brink so people uh, are very brutal people you know people might be driven to every man for themselves um, so you have to feel that tension that um, you know you might not survive this encounter uh, and we also want to make sure that it felt realistic and grounded to the world so like a bullet really has a lot of weight to it it's very lethal that's very lethal as well. Um, so that's just going to ratchet up the tension for you as well. But, you know, it, it is important for us, you know, that we want to make sure that, um, you know, the pacing is really good too. So we've always tried to say, you know, there's a really good action element to the game as well. Right, cool. Now, as far as online, would there be anything you could tell us or will there be any online? Um, well, we've been saying that uh, we're planning on multiplayer and that's sort of where we're at still right now is that we're planning on having a multiplayer element to it. Um, don't know yet. And, uh, you know, it'll be a little while before we're ready to sort of reveal or at least talk more about it. Anything about co-op? Don't know yet. <laughs> hey, 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 I swear, you know, I'm gonna do a compilation with all of, when you ask a PR person of any type a question, and they give you that. No, no, yeah. <laughs> love to talk about more, but yeah, we love to talk about, it, but we can't. Now, um, so I mean, as far as the um, months ahead, I'm sure you're gonna show us more. But um, is there anything you could tell us now that we haven't, um, that most people haven't seen? Because I, like I said, this is my first time seeing um, what happens after, you know, uh, what you show, like I guess the gunshot, the, uh, the, you know, that final gunshot to the face. So, is there anything else you could tell us that we haven't seen? Um, not really. I think one of the things that we've been trying to figure out uh, inside the studio right now is, um, you know, we've showed a lot of gameplay. Um, we've gotten you a, a little bit of a sneak peek in terms of like what the, the storyline is we've talked about a little bit. So we want to try to find a way to tell you a little bit more about the story without spoiling anything. I know our fans really don't want us to spoil anything at all uh, and really not share too much. Uh, but we want to give you an idea in terms of where it's going. So I think we're trying to figure out how we can maybe talk a little bit more about the story sometime in the future. So when can I have this game? Uh, next year, 2013, sometime. You can't speed this up a little bit. I mean, come on, man. Like, oh yeah, you because you, you, you know like, we gonna get there, and then you gonna say, well, we gotta push it back. No, <laughs> <laughs> now our team's working as hard as they can uh, to get it out as soon as we can. But uh, well, I'm assuming that you're gonna have some limited edition and deals, uh, you know, uh, plans for it, right? We're we're talking about all that sort of stuff right now. So hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully everything works out, and we can try to come up with some good, you know, everything slip. from pre-orders to slip, just slip. <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, we're all in talk. So as, as release dates gets closer, all that stuff starts coming together. So. All right, cool. Yo, thank you very much, man. Listen, 
This is Arne Meyer, and he's the man from Naughty Dog. If you don't know him, you need to get to know him because he's the reason why you down for Naughty Dog.